Most people hiking the popular trails here likely walk right past them. It's understandable. But hidden under the canopy of trees, shrubs and moss, evidence of what was happening here a very long time ago. And I think that's what's really quite powerful about this part of the forest is, you know, people walk through here and they think that this is a wilderness space and it doesn't take too much to kind of open your eyes a little bit and see these spaces that were built up. This is infrastructure. This is our early city. All along the river in the lower Seymour Conservation Reserve on the North Shore, signs of a settlement taking shape here in the 1800s. And there's this. You can use your imagination walking down this trail and what, what in the world is this tunnel for? Because yeah. it seems so out of place in this day and age and along this trail. And if you don't have the context for sort of what this valley is used for, it, it is mysterious, yeah. In we go. Into the tunnel. Oh! <laughs> yeah, watch your head. The tunnel, an important part of the early infrastructure here. This is the old tunnel uh, blasted out of the side of the rock here for a water main to go through. The water main that would have come through here was built out of cedar, um, old stave piping, uh, kind of wrapped in metal coils and painted with tar. And that's what would deliver water down to the early city of Vancouver. And in the early 1900s, with the city growing rapidly, this area became an important source for water. But why, all things considered, drill through the rock? It's hard to imagine right now, but it was built up water infrastructure. There was a road through here. Uh, there were cabins. And at that point, there was just so much happening in here uh, that it made more sense to actually drill through this big piece of rock to deliver this pipe through. Gravity, another reason for drilling. Now, if you look kind of through the tunnel and you follow it out that way, you can see the path that the tunnel would have taken. Um, the bridge site over there, the old twin bridges, is basically where the tunnel would have been moving to, or where the water pipe would have been moving to, and over that bridge, and then down the other side of the river, out towards Broward Inlet. And what about that road? This is how roads would have been built through the forest here, um, you know, putting down big pieces of wood, and that would have been how people traveled up here to maintain the pipes, um, but also to access some of the cabins that were up here for fishing and, you know, tourism. There was a store just located up here behind us. A lot going on back then. And from those who spend time here now, yeah, I, I heard a story once, you know, that some, uh, some of the folks that work in the valley here were called down because somebody along the trail said there's a candle shining in the middle of the tunnel and had to come down and put the candle out, you know, but... <laughs> a light in the middle and at the end of this historic tunnel.